Today we'll be learning about input and output tables and how to determine the numerical expression represented from the problem in the table. Input and output tables can be represented two ways. The input and output table can be created vertically with the relationship between input and output numbers across or horizontally with the relationship between the input and output numbers up and down. The input is the position in the sequence, and the output is the value in the position. What rule could be used to represent the table? Here we have a table where P represents the input and R represents output. The input is 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the output is 4, 8, 12, and 16. The rule describes the relationship among the input and outputs. So what is the relationship between 1 and 4, 2 and 8, 3 and 12, and 4 and 16? We can use the sentence stem to describe the rule. The rule is the input, blank, which there we want to put an operation, adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, blank, a number, equals output. The sentence then for this table would read, the rule of the input times 4 equals the output. Because 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 equals 8, 3 times 4 equals 12, and 4 times 4 equals 16. Numerical expressions. The rule can be represented with numerical expressions that will generate a number pattern. Here's the table that we previously looked at, where the input is represented with the letter P, and the output is being represented with the letter R. What rule could be used to represent the input and output numbers for this table? The rule P times 4 equals R represents this table, where P is the input, the position in the sequence, times 4 equals R, the output, the value of that position. We're going to look at some real-world relationships. Jason organized five containers of glue sticks for the school art night. Each container had 18 glue sticks. If the pattern continues, how many glue sticks will Jason organize into eight containers? Create an input-output table to represent this information. Here's an input-output table that represents this information. We have the containers, which is the input or position and sequence, the numerical expression, and the total, which is the output, the value in the resulting sequence. Our first question is what is the value of the first position in the sequence? The value of the first position in the sequence is 18 because there are 18 glue sticks in each container. There you see that I put the 18 in the total or output because in one container, position 1, there are 18 glue sticks. What is the rule that can be used to determine the number of glue sticks? The rule is to multiply the number of containers by 18 to get the number of glue sticks. So if we continue the pattern, for two containers, we would have 36 glue sticks because 2 times 18 equals 36. For three containers, we would continue the pattern with 3 times 18, which equals 54 glue sticks. In the fourth container, we will continue the pattern with 4 times 18, which equals 72 glue sticks. So back to our question, how many glue sticks will Jason organize into eight containers? In eight containers, there would be 144 glue sticks. Let's look at another real world relationship. Jocelyn earned money babysitting during the summer. In June, she earned $30 and spent $16. In July, she earned $35 and spent $21. In August, she earned $42 and spent $28. If the pattern continues, how much money will Jocelyn spend if she earns $80 in September? Label the input and output to match the problem situation. The input would be labeled with the amount earned. The output can be labeled with the amount spent. You can see that the value from the amount earned to amount spent decreases. So we must be subtracting or dividing in our numerical expression. What is the rule that can be used to determine the number of glue sticks? The rule is to subtract 14 from the amount earned to get the amount spent. So let's go back to our question. 
If the pattern continues, how much money will Jocelyn spend if she earns $80 in September? If we complete the numerical expression, we see that 30 minus 14 equals 16, 35 minus 14 equals 21, 42 minus 14 equals 28, and 80 minus 14 equals 66. So in September, if she earns $80, she will spend $66.